sit back and relax. Hey, look, I got a new email. The cake race. This is my chance. Okay. I gotta prepare. It's just this weekend. <laughs> I know, Dad. I know I will win. I've never trained harder for anything, ever. I know, son. I know you will. Official, I want it fair and square. Hand it over. Calm down, child. The trophy's been stolen. What? No, no, no. It's my trophy. I want it. I want it. Give it to me. It's been stolen, young man. Are you the famous detective Sherlock Holmes? No, good sir. I'm his brother, James Holmes. Sir, detective. Why did you barge in here on this fine evening? I need you to find the cake race trophy. It was stolen. Why would I ever do that? That is the stupidest case I've ever heard. I would never do it for all the money in England. What if I didn't pay you in money? What if I paid you in gum? What kind of gum? Try them layers. What else? And there's more where that came from. Cinnamon? No, no, no. I will only do it for watermelon. You drive a hard bargain. Here you go. And if you do your detecting well, you'll get more of that. All right, you got yourself a detective. So, okay, this is where the freshman cake race finish line was? Yep, general area. I see, I see. No, tell me everything about that point. Okay, well, I woke up and everything was black. So I opened my eyes and I realized I was asleep. But it was 3 a.m., so I went back to bed and... Okay, just forget about that. Now, tell me what happened when you got to the starting line. Okay, well, I was warming up and my arch nemesis, Matt Munns, came out of nowhere and started mocking me. I see. And Mr. Munns received second place in the race? Ha, <laughs> yeah. I knew I could beat him. I see, I see. Uh, continue. Uh, well, actually, I didn't think I'd beat him, but, uh, give him one of these, 
and I passed him and okay. I won. That one, no one cares. Just uh, tell me what happened at the start of the race. Well, I got to the line, the start line, and we started. Well, actually, first, my dad came up to me and wished me good luck. Your dad came to the freshman camp race? Of course, it's the most important day of my life. He wouldn't miss it for the world. Okay. So then, after you won, you went to get the trophy, but the officials had lost it. No, they didn't lose it. They, they, someone stole it. That's why I hired you. Same difference. Now, I think that we need to go see Mr. Moss. Okay, let's go. Mr. Munz, we need to ask you a few questions about the freshman cake race. Really, Gabe, just accept your defeat. You might have beaten me in the cake race, but you failed to get a kiss from Miss Georgia Tech. You'll always be a failure. I know you did it! I know you oh. did it! Just admit it! Heel, boy, heel. Now, Mr. Munz, where were you at exactly 6.32 and 17 seconds? I don't know, probably just walking back to my dorm from the race. And you didn't happen to make a detour by, say, the award stand? Look, Sherlock. Whoa! My name is not Sherlock. I am James Holmes. Sorry, Detective. James Holmes, this is a joke, right? Listen, Mr. Munz, did you steal the freshman cake race trophy or not? No. Okay. Now, okay. Gabe, I'm about to tell you is of the utmost importance. You have to go in there and talk to your father, listen to everything he says, and never steer the conversation in a different direction. But he's disappointed in me since I lost the trophy. I don't know if I can do it. Listen, Gabe, you have done nothing productive with your entire life. This is your one chance to be somebody. I can be somebody! I can be somebody! Shh! Wait, don't kid. I'm going to pull my cover. Okay, now, go be that somebody. Okay. <sighs> yup. That kid is worthless. Hey, Dad. You proud I won today? Proud? Did you ask if I was proud? You lost a trophy! What good is a victory if you have nothing to show for it? I'm sorry. I tried. You know what, son? You did try. You tried your very hardest. But both of us were meant to be failures. We'll never go anywhere in life. Aha! The mystery is solved, Gabe. Your thief is? Oh shoot, hold on. Yep, I just saw my last piece of gum. Uh, you're gonna have to pay him more gum if you want your mystery to be solved. Are you kidding me? I gave you like a hundred pieces. You, you know you're not supposed to swallow gum, right? <laughs> this kid, am I right? Maybe yeah, the type of food you don't swallow. That's what I thought. Now, uh, fail. I don't know, I'm all out. Oh, wait, no, I got one more piece. Okay. Alright, Gabe. Your thief is, drum roll please. Your father! What, my father? No! He wouldn't do that, he helped me train. Okay, think about it, Gabe. What type of training did you do? Pointless time wasting shit, am I right? And then the first time you ever have a chance to win something in your life? The trophy's on. What's even the chance of that? How does that happen? But then your father shows up, who also happens to be a failure at everything, and everything goes to hell. Plus, he's the only one to tell you that your victory was nullified because you lost a trophy. How does that even make sense? Plus, did you ever see your father at the end of the race? Don't think so. Do you think he'd be there to congratulate you? Where was he? He was stealing the trophy. Is, is this true? Yeah. Yeah, it is, son. Let me go get the trophy for you. Here's your trophy, son. Yes! Gabriel McPhail finally won something and added the slightest bit of worth to his life. He loved the feeling of victory so much that ever since that cake race day, now 50 years ago, he has made it his one and only goal to succeed at everything he does in life. He climbed Mount Everest while solving the Rubik's Cube. He was once bitten by a black widow, and the black widow died. He beat Usain Bolt in the 100 meter race while running backwards. When he was struck by lightning, he killed the thunderstorm. So after years of failure, he is now the most interesting man in the world.